Okay, we're looking at some more examples of the uh, singular value decomposition. Now I'm going to look at some special cases now. So if A is symmetric, and, and of course if it's symmetric then we're thinking about it being a square matrix, and it has non-negative eigenvalues, then the singular value decomposition is A equals U D U star, which is just the diagonalization of A. So let's take a look at an example. So I pre-typed these. I um, didn't think you'd want to watch me do a lot more typing. So notice that this is a symmetric matrix. So it's equal to its transpose. Now let's look at what its eigenvalues are. Well, let me let you watch me type a little bit. So this will produce the eigenvalues of A uh, as the diagonal matrix, and it will produce the eigenvectors as this matrix U. So let's see what that looks like. I want to see what the eigenvalues look like. And notice that we have three non-negative eigenvalues. And U here is a matrix and it's a unitary matrix which means it's orthogonal because these are all real numbers. If there were some complex here then we would say unitary because we would have to take not the transpose but the Hermitian transpose, the transpose conjugate. But it's unitary which in the real case means it's orthogonal. If I multiply U transpose times U then I get the identity matrix and similarly u times u transpose. So if I take uh, u times uh, the diagonal matrix times u transpose, then I get, oops, I need to make my diagonal matrix into a diagonal matrix. So. Uh, right now, D is just an array of three numbers. I need to make it into a square matrix like that. So that's what that diag D does, is it uh, creates a diagonal array. So, all right, let me go ahead and execute this. And if you'll notice, that's 512163235, 512163235. So this is the diagonalization the Jordan normal form, this is what you end up your uh, basically in your algebra course with is how to take a matrix A which is equal to its transpose, i.e. symmetric, and write it as uh, an orthogonal times a diagonal times the transpose of that orthogonal where the orthogonal is the uh, basis uh, where each of these columns is a unit vector and they're perpendicular to each other, mutually orthogonal. Now the singular value decomposition in this case is the same. So let's see what V looks like and uh, U's up here. Uh, so let me put U down here again and there you see. So here the, the V and the U, the U I got up here from the eigenvalue from the diagonalization and here I get the exact same U is being played by this row V and then I said U start there, I meant U star. Uh, so let's look at U uh, star and now let's take a look at uh, U transpose and same, vector, same uh, matrices. So if you have non-negative eigenvalues, the singular value decomposition is just the diagonalization. However, I need to point out something very, very important. And that is if A is symmetric but does not have non-negative eigenvalues, then the singular value decomposition is not the same as the diagonalization of A because singular values are always non-negative. So let me show you an example here. So 
So here's my matrix A. Okay, and let's do the same thing we did before. I'm going to use a D and P here. Uh, and let's uh, see what D looks like. I notice now I have a negative eigenvalue. Now I've got a zero, but that's non-negative. But I have this negative eigenvalue. And so now if we look at the singular value decomposition, if we look at P here, we get that. And if we look at the singular value decomposition, then you'll notice that these are not the same as the P or the P inverse. And the singular values are actually the absolute values of these numbers 18, negative 3, and, and 0. So there is a slight difference. Now it is slight because essentially you're looking up here and saying, well, I see that it's mostly uh, sign differences. And there is a theorem that says that it's only uh, complex exponential phase differences uh, between the diagonalization and the uh, singular value decomposition of a symmetric matrix. Uh, or actually any matrix that commutes with its uh, uh, adjoint.